Today, we'll start a new series for financial accounting and reporting. And our first topic is accounting for cash and cash equivalents. All right. Okay, the, the usual question for cash and cash equivalents is, what is the amount of cash and cash equivalents should we present in the statement of financial position or the balance sheet? Okay. So that's why very important na malaman natin ano yung composition of cash and cash and cash equivalents. Okay? Let's start with cash. For cash, remember there's two types. Number one is cash on hand. And number two is cash in bank. Okay? So cash on hand includes, first is bills and coins. Okay? Number two is checks we receive from customers checks from customers and number three is petty cash fund okay we use petty cash fund for small expenses if it's not practical for you to use checks then ang kagamitin natin is petty cash fund okay so cash on hand includes bills and coins checks from customers and petty cash fund for cash in bank naman this includes first syempre we have savings deposit Okay, or savings account, you're familiar with that. Second is demand deposit. Demand deposit, this is also your checking account or current account. Alright? So, ayan. Pag may mga given na ganito sa, sa problem, then you include that as part of cash. Okay? So, again, for cash, you have two types. Cash on hand and cash in bank. Let's now go to cash equivalents. Okay, so, let's uh, go to cash equivalents okay ito lang yung kailangan mo tandaan for cash equivalents okay take note yung important dito is the maturity of cash equivalents sir ano ba yung cash equivalents these are high highly liquid investments okay so tingnan mo yung maturity ng investment if the maturity of the investment is less than or equal to 3 months you report this as cash equivalent all right if the maturity is three months to one year, then you report this as current asset. Okay? Actually, yung cash equivalent is also current asset. Pero for this one, hindi siya part of your cash equivalent. But you report this as current asset. Gets? Okay. And then last one is, if the maturity is more than one year, then you report this as non-current asset. Actually, these two, Aralin natin siya in the future. These are your investments. Okay? And investments are accounted using PFRS 9. Okay? So, in the future, you discuss natin siya. Alright? So, you have cash and you have cash equivalents. Okay? So, let's uh, do our exercises for today. And so, let's go to problem number one. Okay, let's go to the question. What amount of cash and cash equivalents should Pinnacle Company report in its December 31, 2020 statement of financial position? Okay, so usually ganito yung, yung format of the questions pagdating sa accounting for cash and cash equivalents. Okay, on December 31, Pinnacle Company has the following information concerning its cash and cash equivalents and some other items. So basically, alamin natin a new classification of this and let's identify alin yung cash and cash equivalents. Then we add, this is our answer for this problem. Okay? Let's go to the first item, bills and coins, 50,000. We know, yes, part siya. Actually, this is cash on hand, all right? 50,000 is part of your cash and cash equivalents. Checks received from customers, yes, okay? Cash on hand, right? Unless dinipot, i-deposit mo siya, then that will be for part of your cash and bank. Certificate of deposit with term of 12 months. Okay, so if it's 12 months, again, Parts of the current as of your current assets, but not part of your cash equivalents. Okay, so this one is lagay natin siya sa other current assets. Next item is petty cash fund. Yes, okay, parts of our cash on hand. Postage stamps. Actually, postage stamps are recorded as prepaid assets, so this is not part of your 
cash on cash equivalent so prepaid expenses or prepaid assets bank a checking account balance yes this is cash in bank all right next item is post dated check from customer when you say post dated obviously yung date nyan is in the future pa okay so hindi pa siya cash okay this is still a receivable okay so not part of your cash in cash equivalents we record this as part of our accounts receivable money order from customer sir ano ba yung money orders so actually substitute siya sa mga checks okay so if walang check you can use money orders so if you go to remittance centers for example western union may mga available na money orders dyan okay so money orders are actually part of your cash on hand okay part of your cash on hand cash in savings account yes cash in bank bank draft from customer when you say bank draft it means it's a check guaranteed by a bank okay so na receive mo siya from a customer let's put this as part of her cash on hand okay pag dineposit mo obviously part na siya your cash in bank all right next item is utility deposit to gas company refundable okay 5000 you report this as other receivables other receivables okay other receivable siya because hindi naman siya receivable from a customer if it's a receivable from a customer you report this as trade receivables okay but in this case in the so we report this un under other receivables okay nsf check from c company twenty thousand. nsf not sufficient funds okay or no sufficient funds it means nag issue si customer sa yun check okay as payment but then yung check na yun hindi siya funded sa bank it means walang sufficient fund si customer pag in cash mo yung check hindi mo siya may cash so not sufficient funds gagawin mo dyan in accounting i -re reverse mo yung entry later i discuss na, na siya but basically yung 20,000 na yan is still part of your accounts receivable okay kasi nung na-receive mo yung check yung entry mo is debit cash credit AR okay but nung nalaman mo na NSF siya, you reverse mo siya, debit AR credit cash. So this one is not part of your cash, part of your accounts receivable. Gets? Okay. Cash advance to company executive collectible upon demand. Okay. This one is other receivable. Again, if it's a receivable na hindi naman from customer, it's part of other receivables. Okay. Bank B checking account overdraft. When you say overdraft, it means excessive yung pagkaka-withdraw mo, okay? So, nag-issue ka ng check beyond your cash balance in bank, okay? So, in that case, magkakaroon ka ng negative amount. But, given the internal controls nowadays, actually, hindi na nangyayari yan. Well, for accounting, since part of the problem, assume natin na possible pa rin siya. But, the 20,000 is current liability, okay? So, not part of cash, we re report this under current liability, Okay? IOUs from employees, so usually yun yan, mga advances to employees, not part of your cash, part of your other receivables. Okay, so it's a matter of understanding. Alin dito sa items na to yung classify natin as cash on hand, and cash in bank, and cash equivalents. Okay, so let's add lahat ng mga may checks. Get your calculators. Okay, so add natin lahat. Alright, so 50,000 plus 4,000. Uh, sorry, 50,000 plus 600,000 plus 4,000 plus 2.1 million plus 15 plus 100 plus 40. Okay, make sure you get 2909,000 which is letter D. Okay, final answer, letter D, 2909,000. Okay, last if you appreciate this free accounting tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I have a new video. Let's go to the next number. Okay, problem number two. What is the correct amount of cash and cash equivalents? Application company should report in its December 31, 2020 statement of financial position. Application company provided the following information of its cash composition on December 31, 2020. Guys, malapit na i-launch yung Pinakal CPA Review App. Okay, this month. Hintayin tayo lang ha. Alright, Pinaka CPA Review app, guys, we be kami ng discounts for the first 200 subscriptions. Okay? Alright. 
information of its cash composition on December 31, commercial savings account of 600 and commercial checking account of 900. We know both of these are part of your cash in bank. Okay, 600 plus 900, 1.5 million. Lagi natin, 1.5 million. Money market fund account held by West Bank that permits application company to write checks in this balance. 5 million. Actually, money market fund na yan. These are short-term investments, okay? Usually in mutual funds. But in this case, ang nakalagay dyan, permits application company to write checks in this balance. It means these are readily available for withdrawal, okay? So it means we, we also call this unrestricted cash, okay? Unrestricted cash is part of your cash in cash equivalents, okay? Actually, part of your cash in bank, okay? So ayan, so bullet 1 is part of cash and cash equivalents as well as bullet 2 travel advances of 180,000 for executive travel for the first quarter of next year employee to pay through salary deduction travel advances of 180,000 for executive travel executive travel okay babayaran siya right so in this case 180,000 is part of your other receivable okay other receivable Okay, not part of your cash and cash equivalent. Now, if hindi siya babayaran, kasi nakalagay yan, employee to pay through salary deduction. If that's not the case, then you report this as part of your prepaid expense. Okay? And then, once magamit siya ng executive, okay, na liquidate na yung travel advances, then si charge mo na siya to expenses, operating expenses. Got it? Okay. Basically, X. A separate cash fund in the amount of 1.5 million is restricted for the retirement of long term liabilities. Okay, separate cash fund. Okay, in this case, ang uh, accounting treatment for this one is nakamirror siya to the related liability. Okay, in this case, long-term liability siya, then this cash fund is presented as non-current assets. Kuha niyan. Now, if this is short-term liability, current assets yung 1.5 million. But, still not part of your cash and cash equivalents. Gets ba? Basta nakaset aside siya na fund, Automatic na yun, hindi na siya part of your cash and cash equivalents. Okay? Because it's restricted. Okay? Ulitin ko ha, imi-mirror mo lang siya dun sa related liability. In this case, long-term liabilities, then this 1.5 is non-current assets. If this is short-term liabilities, this will be reported as current assets but not part of your cash and cash equivalents. Got it? Okay, so X. Petty cash fund, we know this is part of your cash and hand. Alright? Let's compute. Okay, 1.5 million. Okay, 1.5 1.5 Bullet number 2 is 5 million 5 million Plus last bullet is 10,000 Okay 6, 5, 10,000 Which is letter D Okay 6, 5, 10,000 Final answer is letter D Okay Siyempre Nag-prepare pa ako ng isang problem for you uh, Lakas nyo sa akin uh, Problem number 3 uh, Para gets na gets yung accounting for Cash and cash equivalents. All right. In its December 31, 2020 statement of financial position, how much should Mr. Accounting report as cash? Okay. Mr. Accounting Corporation's checkbook balance on December 31 was 160,000. Right, this is your checkbook balance. On the same date, Mr. Accounting held the following items in its safe. Okay. Have three bullets. Basically, for each bullet, we will identify if part ba siya dapat ng cash or not part of your cash. A 5,000 check payable to Mr. Accounting dated January 2. What do you call this? Post-dated check. Tama? Again, if post-dated check siya, hindi mo pa siya cash. Okay? Part of your accounts receivable. Was not included in the December 31 checkbook balance. Okay? Not included. So be careful uh, if it's included or not included. In this case, yung 5,000 is not included. Tama ba yung accounting treatment niya? Answer is yes. Okay? Lagi natin yung unadjusted balance is 160,000. Okay? Lagi natin yung first bullet. Do we need to adjust this? No. Tama yung treatment niya. Tama? It should not be part of your cash. Next, bullet number two. A 3,500 check payable to Mr. Accounting. Uh, what was deposited on December 19? And included, okay, included in the December 31 checkbook balance was returned by the bank on December 30, Mark NSF. Okay. Hulit natin, ha? Basically, 
Okay. Nagbayad si customer, but... And then, dineposit mo siya noong December 19. But then, return siya ng bank on December 31, mark NSF. If it's NSF, again, may reversing entry ka. Dapat maging part siya ulit ng accounts receivable mo. Right? Okay. Included do siya sa December 31. So, mali yun. Dapat, it should, not, it should not be included. The check was redeposited on January 2 and cleared on January 9. Okay. Now, if nag-clear siya nung that year, let's say December somewhere nung, let's say before December, on or before December 31, part of your cash, right? Nung redeposit mo. But in this case, next year pa siya na redeposit. So, as of December 31, it's still part of your accounts receivable. So, in 3,500, included siya, it should not be included. So, adjustment, okay, number 2 is minus 3,500. Okay. Last bullet, at 2000, at 25,000, check payable to a supplier. Ikaw naman yung nag-issue ng check. Huwag yan. So, for bullets 1 and 2, you receive checks from customers. Okay? So, bullet number 3, ikaw yung nag-issue kay supplier. Now, be careful sa point of view. Okay? Supplier and drawn on Mr. Accounting's account was dated and recorded on December 31 but was not mailed until January 19. Okay? Nag-issue ka ng check and then ni-record na siya on December 31 Pag sinabing ni-record na siya, ibig sabihin, nakabawas na siya dun sa 160,000. Gets ba yan? But then, nag-minail siya noong January 19. Obviously, next year pa mag-clear yung check. Tama? So, it means, yung 160,000 mo is understated. The 25,000 should be added back. Got it? So, for number 3, plus 25,000. Ayan. So, let's see. 160,000. Okay. 160,000 plus 25, that's... 185,000 minus 3,500, that is 181,500. The final answer for problem number 3 is letter C, 181,500. Class is the end of this free tutorial. In Pinakel, we offer both in-house and online review. Regardless of your accounting background, we will provide you with the most efficient and effective review by focusing on the best review strategies, key points to remember, shortcuts, common tricks, and mistakes. For reservation and to know more about us, visit our website and Facebook page. All the links are in the description below. Reserve now because we only accept limited number of students in order to preserve the quality of our review. Class is missed. See you next meeting.